Hello, my name is Subhashri Mangaraj. I am from India and I am pursuing my Masters in Data and Knowledge Engineering here in OVGU. I welcome you all to this interview session. With us, we have one of our faculties from the Informatic Department who is also the study coordinator for the Data and Knowledge Engineering program. Let's meet her. Hello, Professor. Hi, I am Myra Spilopoulou. I am Professor of Business Information Systems and uh, uh, I am a studies coordinator of the data science master uh, data and knowledge engineering since 2005. Okay, so today we are going to discuss about the program data and knowledge engineering and get some insight from the study coordinator herself. Uh, so professor, uh, the, this program DKE, uh, just can you just give us a brief overview of the program? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is a data science uh, degree. We are preparing our students for becoming data scientists and we are are offering um, courses on methods of mm -hmm. uh, learning methods, uh, um, machine learning, data mining, artificial intelligence, inference engines, um, generative models. Um, we are uh, offering courses on data engineering mm -hmm. for uh, conventional data, high dimensional data streams, uh, uh, signals of the Internet of Things, mm -hmm. and big data, data in the cloud. And uh, we are offering a, a variety of applications uh, from uh, a conventional um, customer relationship management till uh, security, uh, medical uh, research, uh, image uh, processing and understanding mm -hmm. as examples. Um, and we uh, train our students to acquire uh, methodic, method skills of, on methods of data science uh, and on applying those methods for uh, realistic problems. Okay, so um, as a student, what all uh, choices of departments do I have uh, in this study program where I can choose courses from or work with any of the groups? Mm -hmm. The faculty has three institutes, mm -hmm. but uh, I think for the from the perspective of a student, uh, it is not uh, um, so convenient to go in the mm -hmm. direction of the institute, but rather uh, to say that we have uh, several professors here mm -hmm. that are working on uh, uh, data engineering and knowledge engineering methods uh, and uh, mm -hmm. several professors that work on applications. I am one of the professors that work on data mining and machine learning mm -hmm. and uh, there are uh, further uh, colleagues uh, on that. Uh, it's one with uh, their specialization. There is one colleague who does mm -hmm. machine learning and also information retrieval. Mm -hmm. Another colleague that does uh, deep learning. There is a colleague that does computer uh, com computational intelligence and swarm intelligence mm -hmm. and so on and then of course we have colleagues that do databases mm -hmm. and data engineering big data um, data in the cloud uh, what i would like to stress is that many of the colleagues are working on areas where data science is needed, mm -hmm. although they are not themselves doing, for example, um, data mining mm -hmm. uh, for uh, those areas. So it is also essential that students get some understanding on the broadness of areas where data science mm -hmm. uh, is necessary and acquire an understanding of how the, what is demanded in these areas. Okay, so there are a huge range of areas where uh, students can choose their interest and apply data science in the field. Okay, so uh, when we come to the future prospects of this course, uh, a student after completing this course successfully, uh, what all uh, career options get opened when he tries to find a job or get into the corporate world? Mm -hmm. So, um we prepare students for careers that are mm -hmm. scientists. Some year back, I would have said uh, that uh, uh, big companies uh, have collected a lot of data mm -hmm. and uh, uh, won't need data scientists to analyze them. But now it is not only the big companies, they are of course there, mm -hmm. uh, but even small and medium enterprises understand that they need to uh, analyze their data to um, 
serve our cus their customers mm -hmm. better to make uh, predictions on uh, whether some uh, machines might need maintenance uh, to optimize their processes to optimize mm -hmm. their interaction with uh, their uh, not only their customers mm -hmm. but uh, also their partners mm -hmm. uh, and lang uh, at loss sorry this was a german word across the supply chain <laughs> okay um, okay, so this was for the job prospects and there, there must be some students who are more interested to do a PhD or go in the research area. So how does this course help in building up skills uh, so that a student can pursue this career? Uh, well, we build skills evidently because we have uh, many graduates from the Master Decay. Mm -hmm. We keep them as, uh, uh, we are also interested in, in uh, such PhD mm -hmm. students. I have. Uh, uh, one uh, such PhD student mm -hmm. in my group, um, and uh, we have uh, a research orientation mm -hmm. um, at several uh, levels. Uh, for example, uh, the master thesis has to contain some part of research, mm -hmm. but this starts earlier. Um, we have an instrument that is called team project mm -hmm. or at least one team project is obligatory mm -hmm. part of the degree and in this team project students work as a team mm -hmm. uh, where they have to uh, at least apply methods of data science and sometimes mm -hmm. also develop new methods to solve a realistic problem mm -hmm. um, often with often with real data and this is typically from uh, the research of the teacher, of the professor mm -hmm. of, at whose group they do the project. The project. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, the, regarding seminars or um, any research-oriented courses, so how, how these are uh, uh, there, there are uh, seminars uh, um, uh, where uh, students um, uh, lear uh, learn to read mm -hmm. and critically appreciate uh, scientific literature, literature. Recent, very recent mm -hmm. scientific literature in the subject. Uh, sometimes there are dedicated seminars uh, on that. Or there are some dedicated seminars on that, and there are also such. Uh, there are also courses, typical courses where mm -hmm. th there is very recent literature. I have, for example, a seminar where students uh, act as reviewers. They re okay. learn to review uh, papers, find uh, what are the advantages of a paper, mm -hmm. what are the shortcomings of a paper as well, and compare papers to each other. This is okay. something that is needed mm -hmm. in the master thesis, and it is not only needed. If if one does a PhD, it is also needed to, if one uh, is asked to compare methods and choose one mm -hmm. for a real mm -hmm. problem in a company. Okay. Okay, so um, as a master's student here in DKE, uh, what would be the planning or the strategy that you would suggest me so that I complete this degree in a stipulated time and successfully? Um, I have a plan and uh, be curious to learn new things mm -hmm. and uh, uh, always have uh, some estimate of, of what you already can mm -hmm. and what sort of background you need for the next mm -hmm. step. We have uh, more advanced and more basic mm -hmm. courses, typically the second are uh, less exciting but necessary for mm -hmm. the more advanced ones uh, so um, plan uh, to make the less advanced course uh, first mm -hmm. and also look broadly at what the faculty offers and what fits your interest interest so uh, basically uh, after maybe somewhat choosing my area of interest i should build my fundamentals and then go for advanced courses or projects in it yeah. Yeah, we have uh, made very recently a change uh, of uh, the degree. Mm -hmm. uh, none of the current students is uh, experiencing it because it starts mm -hmm. in the next semester. Okay. 
where we have much less of fundamentals and the other areas okay. are broader. Mm -hmm. So we have some very basic fundamentals mm -hmm. that we retain. Um, but even in each of the areas, for example, uh, for uh, learning algorithms, there mm -hmm. are some that are less advanced than others. The less advanced have to be first so that one uh, builds a groundwork for, uh, for, for the for more them. advanced yeah. ones. Okay. Um, do we have any prerequisites to uh, go into or to attend the DKE program or any mandatory or recommended? Yeah, uh, we have the mandatory prerequisites which are um, admission prerequisites. Mm -hmm. We expect a degree in, that, in the computer science or um, related domain. This means at least 10 courses in computer science mm -hmm. and databases as mm -hmm. mandatory additional course. And we do expect familiarity mm -hmm. uh, with those subjects. So there are many ways of implementing computer science. Uh, and of course, we expect our students to be able uh, to program because mm -hmm. data science needs programming. programming yeah. Understanding of databases is in the, indispensable, of data processing mm -hmm. in general, understanding of algorithms is necessary. Uh, by and understanding of statistics. Mm -hmm. We do not teach statistics. We expect that the students have had um, some uh, knowledge, statistics knowledge. from uh, uh, mm -hmm. their previous studies. Um, and also what we expect is uh, some uh, familiarity with scientific work, mm -hmm. which typically is given in Germany by the end of the bachelor. Okay. We found that some students uh, did not have such an opportunity mm -hmm. in their bachelor mm -hmm. degrees. So we are offering also now a seminar uh, that uh, trains students mm -hmm. uh, on uh, working scientifically. On working scientifically, yeah. okay. Um, no, suppose uh, some students are there who come after having a certain work experience. So there's a gap between the bachelor's and the master's. So if they want to gain knowledge about, for example, statistics, so do so can they just go and uh, attend classes of those departments too? Not as part of the degree. Okay. They have uh, uh, to familiarize with mm -hmm. some subjects, but of course there are uh, readings for um, mm -hmm. understanding the basic uh, things. Uh, the degree is not designed uh, mm -hmm. designed for uh, practitioners. Okay. Uh, but uh, some uh, of our students uh, have been practitioners mm -hmm. in the past, so they studied, then they get, went to a company, and then they came back to 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 the to study, school, to, yeah. to the university, to study mm -hmm. uh, data science. Um, they have more skills, uh, let's say, in uh, programming and mm -hmm. working with data. Uh, and they have to acquire, to refresh uh, some refresh other the, skills. Mm -hmm. But this is something that we do not offer. Mm -hmm. We have a, a quality management uh, program where we monitor mm -hmm. the international degrees, the data science degree, master decay, and um, the other international degree we have so that we figure out where, whether there are some systematic uh, difficulties with many students and then consider ways of assisting, assisting. them. Like this seminar um, mm -hmm. on uh, scientific work, uh, this is um, one of the things that we recognize mm -hmm. that there is need and we introduce that. Okay. So, um, Professor, you have been associated with this program since long. So, you must have come across students who have usually taken a longer duration to complete it or sometimes they, they have to drop it. So, any common mistakes that you have encountered within students? Yeah. Um, one is... Um, to register to too many exams at once. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, it is uh, uh, acceptable and for me also advisable if the students go to many classes mm -hmm. and see how what is the level uh, and the content of a class, but then they should, after some weeks, decide mm -hmm. and not register in many examinations because they will not manage to make all of them this mm -hmm. uh, well, it might be more difficult to manage to, to make all of them. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, somehow um, have a feeling of what are their own strengths and how uh, many exams to take at once. And at the other end, uh, um, 
be concentrate concentrate on studying. Study. There are some uh, students who want and or need mm -hmm. to work as well, so they have to plan their time so that they mm -hmm. do not neglect their studies. So study should be the priority to complete the program yeah. successfully. Okay, so um, what is uh, your role as a study coordinator? How, uh, on what occasions should students approach you and how? Um, I am advising uh, students on uh, how to study uh, efficiently and how to study according to uh, their um, interests and strengths. Mm -hmm. Um, they, the students, students are come and ask me how to organize their plans. Mm -hmm. um, in the meanwhile, we have a mentoring program mm -hmm. where other students who are uh, more experienced, but they are also instructed in the dedicated mm -hmm. way, they can help uh, their um, uh, the junior peers uh, yeah. to organize a, a program, a, a plan. Um, I also uh, advise uh, students on organizing their plan according to their background. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also advise students who say, I would like to prepare for writing a master thesis mm -hmm. in that domain or uh, find a job in a company of that uh, mm -hmm. uh, orientation. And then I can give suggestions uh, on that. Um, I also advise often on um, the team a project mm -hmm. of how to organize a team project and in mm -hmm. which area belongs a team project, uh, for example, so, or a seminar so that the students can plan uh, better. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes I help students find a, a supervisor for uh, a their thesis, thesis if okay. they have some sort of an idea and then they ask, okay, who can help here? Okay, okay, that's good. So any, any word of advice for the maybe for the aspirants who wish to take up the program or for the students who are already in this program? Any word of advice for them? Um, well, these are two separate uh, groups for those that are aspiring to take the degree. We have uh, some uh, prerequisites. Mm -hmm. They have uh, to be uh, satisfied. Mm -hmm. And um, then for those that are accepting, uh, uh, be open mm -hmm. to what we offer, but also uh, know your strengths and form your interests early. Mm -hmm. And for those that are studying the degree, the degree is very broad, mm -hmm. um, but uh, getting a good uh, fundament on the methods of data engineering and of learning um, or intel intelligent methods is uh, important for um, making more specialized mm -hmm. uh, things. So be open and have a plan. Thank you so much, Professor, for all your insights and inputs. This would really help students to plan their course and complete this course successfully. Thank you. Thank you very much for this interview.